It's been a day, stressing out like crazy. Just wanna be lazy with my girls. It's been a day. We gonna get away. Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is another packing shopping vlog because I am heading back to California this weekend. I leave first thing Friday morning out of Fort Lauderdale and I don't get back until pretty late Tuesday night. So it's going to be a much longer trip this time around, which is very exciting. And instead of just sticking to Los Angeles, we're flying into LAX and then driving to Palm Springs. And I'm traveling with three of my close girlfriends. We're attending the Revol Festival which I've never been to before. I think it's also Coachella this weekend. There are probably a couple different festivals and events going on in the area. The pictures look really cute. I love Revolve, that's where I get most of my clothes. So I am very curious to see what the event will be like. But I think I am most excited to just get away for a few days and explore Palm Springs because I've never been before. And even though I'm not traveling with a brand this time around, this trip is funded entirely by me personally, it's still sort of a work trip because everybody in the group is a content creator so we're planning to take lots of pictures videos create lots of content around town i'm planning to vlog the weekend so it's still going to be jam-packed i ordered a couple things online but i haven't been nearly as successful this time around so some of the things i ordered are going to have to go back i'm still waiting on one other piece a top that i overnighted so i'm crossing my fingers hoping it arrives in time I just got a notification on my phone, so it might actually be downstairs in the mailbox. I'll have to double check after this, but I'm a little bit disappointed in some of the things I've ordered. I'm approaching packing very differently this time because with the Tom Ford trip, it was a lot more glam. I knew I was going to an Oscars beauty event, so I went out, I bought a really nice dress, I packed a lot of high heels, but this is more festival desert style and so i wanted to get some kind of swimsuit cover-ups crochet items easy breezy fabrics outfits that are really lightweight not too tight not too hot i'm definitely going to be packing a lot of sunscreen some body glow type of products and my makeup will probably be less glam instead of packing all of my tom ford products to do a full face i'll probably go a little bit lighter with the makeup i did actually order a couple pieces from Amazon to create a little festival look. Juanita, one of the girls I'm traveling with, called me yesterday and said we should do some sort of festival makeup together and I thought that's a great idea. So she sent me some inspiration pictures. I picked up this glitter body gel face and body. I think this has little stars in it. I needed some duo lash glue adhesive. In here I have the pearls so I'll pop up the photo so you can see our inspiration but it's really pretty nothing too outrageous but there are a ton of these little pearls that we can kind of pop on the eye create a little maybe cut crease using the pearls and I also ordered a few other glittery items that I think are supposed to arrive tomorrow let me show you what else I have clothing wise so far since it's Revolve Festival of course I placed an order on the Revolve website I picked up this little tube top because I need something like this that will kind of go with everything any bottoms but I don't love this material it was so expensive for what it is I knew it was overpriced, but I was kind of in a pinch. I didn't realize it was going to be this kind of thin cotton. I mean, it feels really good if it was 20 bucks, but it wasn't. It was over $100 on sale. So I think this is one of the pieces that's going to go back. And it doesn't even fit very nice. If it fit really well and it was incredibly flattering, I would most likely keep it because I just don't know if I'm going to have time to find something else. But I'm not a huge fan of this. Hopefully this isn't a good representation for the rest of the collection because I would be really upset if I paid full price for this. I like the detail that it has a zip in the back, but it's basically a glorified piece of fabric. I picked that up to pair with this skirt. The skirt I'm torn about. I like it. I think it is still more expensive than I would have liked to pay but it is pretty it's this cute white lacy skirt kind of has bohemian vibes there is a matching top but it didn't get great reviews I kind of think 
I can use this as sort of a basic. I could put a white crop top or just regular top. I could do black. I could do a pop of color if I wanted to, and this just acts as a neutral. And as long as the fabric on top isn't too busy, I don't think it will take away from this lace. So this, I like. I wish it was less expensive. I'm not sure if I like it enough to keep it. Is it pretty? Yes but I'm not sure this is like a must have item that I'm going to be really happy to have in my wardrobe after the weekend. I don't wanna purchase items that I'm only going to wear for the weekend, for the festival, and then I'm never going to wear them again. I will say the skirt fits really nicely. I picked up a size small. This was the recommended size and it fits like a glove. It's perfect. I love the length. I love how it sits a little bit higher on the waist. So the fit is great. I also placed an order at my beloved Bloomingdale's. I love Bloomingdale's so much. I always find good stuff there. They have an incredible loyalist program. In fact, I don't know when this video will be posted, but right now they have the bonus points. So I placed, I think, two orders and I got $150 back in gift card. And I already have the money in my account to spend on something else. This is one of the prettiest sets. Let's see. Oh, there's something else in there. This is a beautiful swimsuit cover-up from the brand Waimari. It's available at Revolve, but because Bloomingdale's had the better promotion, I just ordered it from Bloomingdale's. So it's kind of like it was on sale, although I don't think it was on sale. Just like the Just Be Queen pieces, way more expensive, and I probably would not have purchased this had I not been traveling for the weekend. But I kind of just wanted at least one really special look and I think this will be so cute for taking pictures at our Airbnb because the photos look really beautiful and I think it has a nice pool in the back. So this will just be very glam. Also something that I will absolutely use and wear past this weekend. I can think of so many places and events, occasions to wear this little set. So this is the top. I already tried it on. It fits perfectly. It's so cute. And then the skirt is long. And again, the same kind of lacy detail with the little tie. I just think that this is so pretty. It's a very fancy swimsuit cover-up. So it's the kind of swimsuit cover-up that you would wear to maybe a beach club type of situation. Even just wearing something like this, I think when we go on vacation would be really special. This skirt is part of a set from Capitana, another great swimwear cover-up brand. I believe they are also carried at Revolve. I did not purchase this from Revolve. I actually purchased this from Swimwear World and I had purchased the top from Bloomingdale's. Then I realized that it was actually back ordered and that's when I panicked and had to order the top again. I canceled that order and ordered it from Intermix. And I overnighted the top, so hopefully I will have a top to this little skirt. If not, I think I could pair maybe a little swimsuit top and then either a white collared shirt, maybe a jean jacket, have some sort of cover up on top of the swimsuit, but this might be a really cute look as well. But I love this skirt, it fits really great. There's also a maxi version, which I ordered from Bloomingdale's, but that's not going to arrive on time. But I love the feel of this. This feels really substantial, and it was also less expensive than the other pieces I picked up. My top did arrive, but it's missing a tassel, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. I think I will most likely pack it and take it with me anyways, just in case, but I really can't see myself wearing it when it's defective, which is a shame because I love Intermix, but I paid for overnight shipping so I would have the set for the weekend. So this is another bummer for me. I definitely plan to reorder it though because it's very cute. I think it looks really nice with the skirt. I love the little tassels and the material is nice and stretchy. So I think this will be perfect for summer. And I'm wearing all Ana Luisa jewelry with all of these outfits. This is the necklace. I wear this mother of pearl constantly. It's so beautiful. I think it goes with everything. And then I love these earrings as well. These pearl hoops, you see them all the time on my channel. Basically alternate between all of my Ana Luisa pieces. I think it's gonna be easier for me to just pack a bunch of accessories and then create my own combinations when I get to Palm Springs. I travel all the time with my Ana Luisa necklaces. I've never had an issue with the chains getting tangled or anything breaking. 
So I think I'm going to take these necklaces with me. I'm packing my Hannah necklace. This is the mother of pearl. It's absolutely gorgeous and I think it hits at the perfect place. You can stack it with other necklaces if you want, but I think this one looks really nice solo. The Isabel, I'm constantly wearing this necklace. The Una, I think is really beautiful. This you can definitely dress up or dress down. So I think if we go out to a nice dinner, this will be perfect to have with me. This is a newer piece, this Morgan necklace. I think this is really cool. This is a little bit trendier for me, but I really like this chain. Now this would be really pretty stacked with a couple of the other pieces I'm going to take with me. This is the Hamsa necklace. I've had my eye on this for such a long time. It's so small and cute. This looks really nice solo, but I think it's best when you layer it with other pieces. Just makes it look a little bit cooler. And all of these necklaces are festival friendly as well. And then this is the Ursa white necklace. I love this piece. It looks so elegant, so sophisticated. Just like the Una necklace, I think you can dress it up or dress it down. So this would look nice with a really casual outfit or for a dinner out. And Ana Luisa is having a Mother's Day promotion. It's active right now on their website. They're offering buy one piece, get the second 40% off, which is an amazing deal. So it's a great time to shop for gifts or shop for yourself. Pick up multiple pieces, that way you can create your own fun combinations. I will list all of my favorite pieces down below in the description box. I have a few other outfit options in my closet. Because I shop at Revolve so much, I actually have several pieces that I have yet to wear that might work for the trip. That blue tweed suit set that I showed you in my last packing vlog, that is from Revolve. I'm not sure it really fits in with the festival theme. Maybe that's something that I could wear just walking around Palm Springs, I'm not sure. I might end up packing that if for nothing else I can take pictures in it. I really don't want to put too much pressure on myself to shop, shop, shop for new things when I probably have some really cute outfits in my closet that I can take with me. So I will most likely go through what I have, maybe pick out a few additional outfits and then narrow it down from there. So Friday, we fly into LA, drive to Palm Springs. So I'll need something for Friday evening. Saturday, Sunday, we're gonna be at the festival. And then on Sunday, we're driving back to LA and we're staying in Beverly Hills Monday night. And then I leave on Tuesday. And then with the time difference, I get back pretty late. down to Merrick Park really quick so I could run into Sephora and pick up a glitter eyeliner I saw online. It was a success. I found the perfect shade. I think it's going to be so beautiful for the festival makeup looks. I also ran into Neiman Marcus because they have a Louis Vuitton store and I noticed that the new summer collection launched. If you haven't seen it, it is beautiful and I have had my eye on this print ever since I saw the sneak peek a couple months ago because my favorite color combination is pink and blue and this new print, this ombre, is is pink blue and a little bit of purple and it's almost like a teal turquoise it's so pretty I knew as soon as I saw this collection I was going to pick up something I wasn't sure what but I just knew I needed a small piece of the collection and I ended up trying to order the marshmallow bag there's only one left in their system so we have to just cross our fingers and hope that it goes through. She seemed to be optimistic, so I'll know in the next couple of days if it worked. If it doesn't work, then I'll know that it just wasn't meant to be, unfortunately. I'm hoping I can get this bag from this collection and that will probably be an early birthday gift. I'm really not looking to keep splurging. I'm looking to slow down on my spending and I mean it. I am very particular about designer bags. I don't just purchase several bags a year or a new bag each season. I really look for the bags individually. In fact, I don't think I purchased any designer bags last year. No, this year I picked up the new Chanel. Last year I didn't purchase any designer bags. The year before I think I picked up two tote bags. So this is really a special purchase and it's only because I am so in love with this print. Otherwise, I would just skip the collection. I am glad I got it out of the way before my trip because I've been thinking about it, been thinking about it. I got the little notification on my phone saying that it was available. So I knew I needed to run in and talk to them and see if I could order the bag. So we'll see. But I got everything that I needed for this weekend and that's all that matters. Tomorrow is when I'm going to have my big shopping day. I have to run to Brickle City Center, to the Apple Store. I lost my AirPods on my last trip, so I ordered a new pair, I need to pick them up, and then I'll probably run to the Aventura Mall as well. 
So tomorrow is going to be the big day. Right now I'm going to go home and cook dinner and cuddle on the couch with my husband and dog. I want to show you all of the beauty products that I'm packing with me. Same drill as last time. I'm packing all of my skincare in this little Sublimage Chanel baggie. And I like to take this opportunity to use up a lot of my samples. So most of these I just transferred from my bag last time. I am taking skincare very seriously this trip, so I've called in for reinforcements. I'm packing more 111 skin masks. I have the rose gold and then the Celestial Black Diamond Eye Masks. I really like these. I've never tried this one. I think I packed this last time, but I just didn't use it. But I'm definitely going to use my Sisley Eye Contour Mask Sample. This always saves my under eyes even here. So in the very dry climate, this is going to be essential. And you really only need a teeny tiny bit. So this one packet should last the entire trip. I also opened up my Sublimage L'Extre de Nuit sample. This feels very hydrating. It's the evening serum, it's so expensive. I've only ever tried a sample, but I think this is going to be a nice moisturizer. I also opened up a new La Creme sample. I'm going to take my little Chantecaille Stress Repair Concentrate sample. So skincare should be set. And then building on what I learned from my last trip, I'm also going to take my Sublimage Le Brume Mist. I've had this for a really long time and I always find myself saving it for special occasions instead of using it. But this is one of those occasions where I think I will definitely need a facial mist. Something that is portable. I can kind of just throw this in my bag and anytime I feel really dry, because we're going to be out for hours at a time. It's not like we're going to be checking in back to the hotel or back to the room every couple of hours, we'll probably have really long days. So I wanna make sure I pack something with me that I can use to rehydrate throughout the day. So this I think is going to be essential. And here is all of the makeup I'm bringing with me. I decided to pack my red Chanel train case again because this worked out really nicely the last time. It's so big, it really fits everything. So here I have all of my special effects makeup for the festival looks we're hoping to create. I took everything out of the box. So here I have some glitter, glitter eyeliner I picked up last night from Sephora when I was there. I also picked up a little travel pack of these eye makeup removers, duo lash glue. I need to pick out a couple pairs of false lashes to throw in here. For foundation, I'm taking my travel size Armani Luminous Silk. This is the perfect size bottle. It's nice and small. Convenient sizes are never the best value, but I do love being able to take one of my favorite foundations with me on trips and this just fits really nicely. I'm also going to take kind of my everyday cream products, the Nudies Matte in Terracotta Tan, Westman Atelier Blush, a couple other little eyeshadows. This is the basic routine. Plenty of sun protection. I have the Every Single Face. That's gonna be used for the body. And then my glow screen with SPF 40. I'll use that as my makeup primer. I'm bringing the new Sol de Janeiro moisturizer. I picked this up during the spring savings event, so I'm excited to take that with me. I am going to pack the Rose Topaz eyeshadow palette from Tom Ford. I really like it so far and I wanna keep playing around with it. I have my NARS Light Reflecting Crystal Powder. The rest are all of the basics, Benefit Brow Products. I may throw in a few additional items last minute, but this is basically it. It's now 10 o'clock on Thursday night and this is packing day. I had so much to film. I still haven't broken down any of my tripods yet or even started to gather any of my equipment. I just pulled the suitcase down from the closet. So you know we are running far behind. I did end up having to run to the mall I ran to Brickell City Center a little bit earlier because I had to pick up new AirPods. It's the one thing that didn't make it home with me from Los Angeles the last time. So I ordered these and had to pick them up in store. So I have my AirPods. I ran into Zara quick because I thought maybe I could find a cute white crop top since I think I will probably end up returning the other one. On any other day, I would probably find 20 different white crop tops at Zara. But today, because that was the one thing I was looking for, I found zero. There were no options. So I had to leave, come back home, have dinner, and now I've just been kind of dreading the process of opening the suitcase and actually putting together some outfits because I didn't even have time to do my try on today. I'm starting with equipment and something that I realized the last time is that I don't need to bring two different tripods. So I'm going to bring my main tripod and then I have this little attachment that I can use for cell phone. So by packing this and that, 
I've now made more room. It's nearly 11 o'clock and this is the progress. Because I was so rushed and not nearly as organized this time around, I may have overpacked, which I hate doing because then you have to pack it all up and lug it back home. I just ran out of time to actually try on all of these outfits and be more organized. So this is going to have to do, but I have all of my beauty products in here, tons of different outfits. I have a workout set, some pool stuff, just in case we decide to lounge by the pool. Over here, I finally packed all of my makeup brushes in the Sephora Squad bag. And then when we flip over, ooh, a surprise. This is something I'm going to share when I get to California, but in here I have a couple hair tools, of course my big tripod, and then I need to add a few more pairs of shoes, and then I should be good to go. I'm gonna do my best to put this thing together. Hopefully everything will fit and I can squish it down. My makeup is now looking really rough. I cannot wait to get a shower and wash my face. That's the very last thing I have to do tonight. Much different traveling situation this time around. I have to get up at five o'clock in the morning so that I can take an Uber to Fort Lauderdale. Flying out of Fort Lauderdale, flying back into Miami, so I didn't want to make the mistake of accidentally driving my car up there. And my flight is at 8.10 in the morning, so I need to be there at 7. I think if I leave by 6, 6.15, I should be fine. Fort Lauderdale is totally different from the Miami airport, which is a nightmare. So I don't think I'll have any issue getting to the airport, getting through security should be fine. It's usually pretty slow and just a lot more relaxed. So I'm going to finish up here. I'm gonna do my best to clean up my room a little bit. I hate leaving it a mess, but I have to get some sleep. My goal was to get to bed by midnight. That way I could have five hours. I think that's pretty good considering it's an early morning and it was a long, busy week, so. I did my best. I'm gonna lay out a hat because I definitely wanted to bring a hat with me. I checked the weather. It's going down into the 50s, 60s in the evenings and then in the daytime, it's like 80s, 90s and the humidity is non-existent. So it is going to be very hot, very dry. I think a hat, even just for sun protection, let alone fashion, I think would be smart to have. Not the best thing to travel with, but I'll make do. This is it. I'm going to tie up loose ends, get ready for bed. I'm so tired. I'm gonna do my best to put this overpacked suitcase together and before we know it, in just a few hours, we will be in Los Angeles, California once again.